Hollywood Yankee? What the? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Okay, I've got some very interesting news that I gotta share with everybody uh, in this community. It's pretty amazing. It is stupid when I keep thinking about it, but I, I, I it, it's legit. I, I can't believe this, and I think it's getting really close to actually happening. What is it? Well, about three months ago, I get an email from a studio, a Hollywood studio, uh, or so it said. And I read it and it said, you know, great opportunity for Yankee stacking. Uh, we're blah, 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 blah. Are you interested in possibly doing a casting call with us? And I'm like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh-huh. And I've won the Publishers Clearinghouse sweepstakes Sure, I mean, come on. There is no way that this was legit. I thought... Frankly, I thought it was Silver Dragons that was pulling my leg. Dude, I really did think it was you. <laughs> or the Stacking Stormtrooper. Or or um, International Stacker. Or, I don't know, Silver Heist. I mean, I could think of a whole bunch of people out there that would love to get Yankee. <laughs> so I didn't believe it. I thought this was this is nuts. And I'm not... No. Okay, fine. I'll bite. I even wrote that, I, I, an email back. Okay, I'll bite. What's going on? <laughs> and then she replied back. Apparently, she was an assistant producer for a, you know, moderate-sized uh, Hollywood studio that did a variety of reality shows uh, on BBC, um, CBS, Netflix, other networks. And they were looking to start up a prepping reality show. And they thought I might be a possible fit for their show. Uh, what? Okay, no. No, 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 no. You, you got the wrong person here. I, I reply back, I have a hard time believing this. How did you find me? Well, she said, I saw your YouTube channel. <laughs> I saw your YouTube channel. What are you talking about? I said, well, what did you watch? Well, I watched the, uh, you know, Prepping the Yankee Way, uh, episode three, and, and she started describing it. I'm like, okay. She, okay, all right, all right. But wait a minute. Why are you interested in me? Well, she said, you know, it's just the way you talk and just the style and blah, blah, blah. And she went on. I'm like, okay. So anyway, it turned out to be legit. They're actually looking to put together a reality show about prepping. And what they described to me um, before my first casting call was they are, again, putting together a team of prepping experts, prepping experts, that, um, <laughs> wow, that would travel around the world testing people's preps. Wait, travel around the world? And she's like, yeah. So um, give you an example. Uh, let's say there's a guy in uh, Reykjavik, Iceland, who thinks the th thinks that global warming is going to cause the ocean sea levels to rise and flood his home. We fly into Iceland, go to hike up to wherever he lives, and then flood his house and see how it, see how it stands up. <laughs> and then the, the, the panel of experts get in a, I don't know, like maybe behind a table or something, and they critique him or her, and they grade them and tell, teach them and help them prep. Okay. Wow. I'm like, all right, uh, that sounds pretty awesome. In fact, I would watch that <laughs> regardless of being on it. So, okay, so let's do this. What's the next step? The next step was to do the casting call. So I stayed after work 
really late, set up my laptop camera and and made sure the sound I, I was using my blue yeti <laughs> i was like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna use something that actually look, it sounds good right so i did that and they did a skype session with me and they recorded it so basically i had to you know say who i was and why i prep and stack because i'm a prepper stacker i brought stacking into the interview and discussed the various forms of stacking and why I stack, as well as the other preps that I do. And, you know, it lasted for about 15 minutes, and uh, they were smiling and talking, and they asked a few questions, and I, you know, answered them, and it was over. I was like, okay. She's like, okay, we'll get back to you one way or the other. Thank you. And that was it. Two months later, I'm thinking, okay, this is not going to happen. I didn't hear anything from them. This, uh, you know, somebody... I'm sure somebody much smarter and wiser than the two that interviewed me said, what? A 52-year-old kid? What, what are you doing? Why did you pick him? <laughs> but no, I got another email. They said the network liked me and now wanted to see me in action, actually doing you know, demonstrating some of my preps and talking more about this, showing this. Because the first time, the, the, the first casting call, I didn't bring any precious metals. I just talked about them. So I was like, okay, you really want to go to the next step on this? And, you know, of course, between the first and the second casting call, a lot of discussion at the Yankee household with the whole family, especially my wife and just what this might mean. But I put the odds really low of it even happening. So, But the second, second time I did a casting call was at my house. And again, Skyping, showing... Uh, this time I did a water prep, or a few water preps. Filtration systems. I showed my well bucket that I had made out back. Uh, just, you know, different personal, um, uh, personal preps for water purification. That was the first prep. And then I went up to my deck and I had all the silver and gold laid out, uh, you know, different ones. Like I had the American Silver Eagle. I had the Canadian Maple Leaf. I had the Britannias. I had Constitutional Silver. And of course, my gold. <laughs> Pop the Yankee Cannon out. And I explained up there you know, what it means to be a prepper stacker, why I stack, what it means in the, in the economic realities that we're facing. And I went into it. Now, of course, both of these Skype sessions, my face, okay? <laughs> the camera was on my face. Um, and the second time, Little Stacks was the videographer. So he had the iPad and he was like following him out, me around and, you know, going in and out. And it lasted, I don't know, about 20 minutes. And at the end, I was like, I, I, I knew I had, you know, I, I, I had laid it all out, right? I had just done the best I could. I had liter literally written a five-page uh, typed script. And I had memorized it. I mean, I, I just wanted to go, you know, do the best I could. And if nothing came of it, if they had a second, you know, thought afterwards going, oh, whoa, that was awful. So be it. At least I did my best. I didn't want to wing it. Like I'm winging this right now. I don't have a script. I'm just winging it. But I, I, I just really wanted, I wanted it to go well. So after it was over, they had a few more questions. They said, could you, could we see the food preps that you have? All right, fine. So we went down and did that. Oh, and then they said, oh, can we see the silver really up close? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. Ooh, and I zoomed in and I showed them and I showed them the gold real close up. I, honestly, I don't think they've ever even seen this type of stacking before. They had no clue, I don't think, of, of this, you know constitutional and government bullion and gold. I, I just don't think they had a clue. But I showed him it. And then after it was over, uh, we were wrapping up. They had stopped recording. And I was like, well, how did I do? And they're like, that was awesome. I, we don't even know how we're going to pare this down, but we're going to edit it. We're going to interleave it again with the first one you did. And we're going to bring it back to the network. And I'm like, oh, oh okay. What do you think? She said, 
we're going to recommend you as one of the six people to make up the team to the network. Uh, I, my, I was like, oh, really? And I looked up at little snacks and his eyes got as big as saucers as his jaw went. Oh. <laughs> he looked at me. It was so funny. He was still, he was still Skyping. And I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's awesome. They'll probably have some, I don't know, uh, you know, survivalist, ex-military. They'll have some, you know, woman marathon runner climbs Everest every year or something crazy. I don't know. <laughs> and then Yankee. Holding gold, <laughs> clutching his Yankee cannon. It, it, this is nuts. <laughs> but they're serious. And, you know, okay. So so what could happen very, very easily is, I mean, the network could just veto it and say, yes, 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 yes. Are you freaking kidding me? Or they could say, you know what? We, we can't, we can't gr green light this. Not going to happen. The budget, whatever. It may not actually happen. But it might. We're talking flying out to L.A., uh, getting a contract, having my lawyer review, talking about face reveal, the whole thing. I mean, there's no way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing hands. They said, no, we could, we could give you a pseudonym. The networks we work with do that sometimes. But seriously, hope your day is okay. I mean, come on. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> People are going to go, wait a minute. I recognize that voice. I don't know. It, it will probably be, uh, it, it changes everything if it happens. Again, I'm putting it around 60%, maybe, maybe happening. They said it would take upwards to two months potentially to get back uh, or, or to have final word. They said they're going to keep me in the loop more now that I'm past that, uh, the second, the <laughs> second casting call. Every time I explain this to someone, I cannot make it through without bursting out laughing. And it's a little embarrassing because I've been telling Little Stacks for now years, saying, I've been telling him, do not make YouTube your career. You you got to get your education. You have to get a saleable skill. Do not think YouTube is your ticket to fame. And it's like, and now he's looking at me like, seriously, dad? I'm like, no, it, wait, stop. I'm not, I'm, I am not quitting my day job. I have a really, really wonderful job. But, you know, I have to think about work. You know, how much time it takes. I don't know if they're going to, you know, record five, ten episodes all at once over a span of five weeks or something. I'll have to, I don't know if I have to take a leave of absence. I don't know what they would pay me. I would hope I get something. I mean, I know some people probably just want the fame and want to get on TV and would do and, and would pay the, the network to do it just for an opportunity. That's not me. It isn't. I'm happy with my life. I'm content. I can. I don't need the the notoriety. I, I don't need to have my face revealed. The whole thought of that kind of freaks me a bit. I'll be getting a much much better security system <laughs> if I have to show my face. I mean, it's seriously this. There is a lot to this, but I'm gonna end it with this. If it is the right thing to do, if this is something that, uh, you know, if this is something that I can help the stacking community with, right? I'll tell you, can you imagine getting a, a, a stacker on TV? And that, that that's maybe a, a, maybe that's too much of a, a responsibility for me, but I would love to be able to tell the world, tell the country why it's so important to stack. Why this, this is real money. Why a fiat currency debt-based economy is destined to fail. Why we need to stack. Wow, Whew. I get passionate about it. And I think maybe that came through. But anyway, I wanted to share that with all of you guys. It is pretty exciting. It is pretty stupid to even think about me being on whatever a show but thank you so much for watching yankee stacking and i hope your day 
is A-OK. -okay.